Hi my friends, Centurion Mark V today on my channel. First time I make a British tank. Great Britain was the first country who built and used tanks in battlefield during First World War. Centurion was built during Second World War and, in my opinion, it was best British tank in second part of 20th centuries. Development of Centurion began in 1943, with manufacture beginning in January 1945, remaining in production into the 1960s. Between 1946 and 1962, 4,423 Centurion were produced. Later in the British Army it was replaced by the Chieftain and Conqueror tanks. Centurion was a classic Cold War tank with a classic design, with engine in back part of the hull, driver seat in frontal part and bottle compartment at the middle. First version of Centurion Mark I had a 76mm of armor in the front glasses. The glasses plate was highly sloped and so the effective thickness of the armor was very high. These features you can see in other tanks, such as German Panzer and the Soviet T-34. The turret was armored at 152mm. Centurion Mark II and all other new versions had a new 118mm thick glasses. The side and rear armor had been increased from 38 to 51 mm. During the Second World War, British tanks used Christie suspension with vertical spring coils between side armor plates. On Centurion tank, a Horseman type suspension system was used, in which three units on a side each hold two rod wheels on one set of concentric springs. Six return rollers were employed. But they were hard to see on the later model tanks, since skirt armor covered most of the tread. The Horseman design didn't offer the same right quality as the Krista system, but took up less room and was easy to maintain. In case of damage by mines, individual suspension and wheels units could be replaced relatively easily. The main disadvantage of early version was the limited range, just 65 miles on the hard roads and 35 miles on the cross country. That's why external auxiliary tanks and then a mono-wheel trailer were used. But the Mark 7 version had a third fuel tank inside the hull, giving a range of 101 miles. Maximum speed was 22 miles per hour. The Centurion was powered by Rolls-Royce Merlin Meter V12 gasoline engine with 600 horsepower. Merritt Brown gearbox had a five forward speed ranges and a two single reverse speed ranges with a high reverse speed similar to second gear. Two fuel tanks was in engine compartment from above side of engine and two cooling radiators placed above the engine. Driver's seat, as usual in frontal part, at the right side of the hull. At the left side, placed shells for main gun. Armor rack was at the bottom of the hull, in battle compartment, right at the center. Ammunition for main gun was 70 rounds. Like many other old-school tanks, the Centurion tank hasn't turret basket, and while commander and gun are set in their places, the loader had to walk straight on the boxes with the shells. I think this was the case of many injuries at the time. Maybe some of my viewers served on Centurion and can tell us about it in the comments. The first appearance of this tank in battlefield was in 1950 during Korean War. The first recorded Centurion kill occurred near Seoul against a North Korean captured Cromwell tank. Funny that the one British tank destroyed another British tank. When the Cold War heating up, the Centurion tanks was deployed in Western Europe in early 1952 in West Germany. 
in Vietnam War, the Centurion tanks used since 1968 by Royal Australian Armored Corps. Crews of these tanks, after operating for a few weeks in country, soon learned to remove the protective armored side skirt from the both side of the tank to prevent the vegetation and mud from building up between the tracks. During Indo-Pakistani wars, the Indian Army used the Centurion tanks with great success. In 1965 it was one of the most modern western tank. In this war Pakistani army used American M47 and M48 Patton's tank. They proved to be able to penetrate only a few of the Centurion tanks. On another hand, the Patton's armor could in fact be penetrated by 84mm tank gun of the Centurion, as well as the 75mm tank gun of the Amy X-13 French light tank, which was also used by Indian army. Later, 84mm Centurion's gun replaced by the even more successful L7 105mm tank gun. British L7 tank gun became one of the most successful tank gun in the 60s and 70s. And now you can see how I placed this cannon in the turret of my Centurion. Royal Ordnance L7 used around all the world in many other tanks, such as American last modification M47, M48, M60, and even in first modification of M1 Abrams. In German Leopard 1, in Italian OF-40, Japan Type 74, Israel Merkava 1 and 2, Swedish STRV-103, Indian Vigianta, in Argentine Tank TEM, South Korean K-1, Switzerland Panzer 61 and Panzer 68, and in many Chinese tanks. Woof, it was really very popular and successful armament in the world. So, Indian Centurion with new 105mm gun in 1971 at the Battle of Basantar destroyed 46 Pakistani tanks. Indian also used Soviet T-55 tanks in this battle. Another page of Centurion history is wars in Middle East, when this tank became really famous. The first country which bought Centurion tanks was Egypt in 1950. Israel's formerly British Centurions were first delivered in 1959. Different varieties of the Centurion were bought by Israel over the years from many different countries or captured in combat. Israel quickly upgraded the tanks with 105mm gun and renamed them SHOT. In Six Day War in 1967, the Israel Defense Forces had 293 SHOT tanks that were ready for combat out of total 385 tanks. In Sinai, Egypt had 30 Centurion tanks. All 30 Egyptian tanks were destroyed or captured by Israel during the conflict. Israel also captured about 30 Jordanian Centurion tanks from a total of 19 in Jordanian service. All Israel's short tanks were upgraded with a more efficient continental diesel engine. Also used in the M48 and M60 tanks. Upgrade also include new and Ellison transmission. The upgraded version were named Shotkal Aleph. Also, additional upgrades include seeker armor, new turret rotation mechanism, new gun stabilizer, improved ammunition loadout with more rounds and increased fuel capacity, a modern fire control system, an improved fire extinguisher system, better electrical system and brakes, and the capability of installing reactive armor completed the modifications. Also, they had American radius and 7.62mm machine gun or 12.7mm caliber heavy machine gun on the commander's cupola. The Shetkal tanks earned its legendary status during the Battle of the Valley of Tears in 1973. 125 Shotkal tanks defeat the advance of some 500 Syrian T-55s and T-62s, and the Shotkal became the emblematic of Israel armor's prowess. During the entire war, 1,063 Israel tanks were disabled, more than half of them Centurions, about 600 of which were completely destroyed or captured. Some 35 Israel Centurions were captured by Egypt, dozen more were captured by Syria, Iraqi, and four by Jordan. On another hand, 2,250 Arab tanks were disabled. 1,274 of them were completely destroyed or captured, including 33 Jordanian Centurions, 18 of them destroyed. After the war to replace Israel losses, the United States delivered 200 M60 and M48 tanks, and the United Kingdom delivered 400 Centurion tanks to Israel. 
Shot Cal tanks with Blazer reactive armor package were used in 1982 invasion of Lebanon. During the war, 21 Centurion tanks were knocked out, 8 of them were destroyed. In 1990s, Israel converted its Centurion tanks into armored personal carrier or infantry fighting vehicles. Last time I saw Centurion tank in action three years ago, when Russia army captured it from Syrian rebels and showed this unit in Moscow. I don't know, rebels really used this tank in battle, or Russia army found it in the field where it had been standing for many years. So guys, thanks for watching. As usual, I hope you liked this video, find something interesting for you. Don't forget to subscribe and help my channel. In the next video I will plan to make APC or maybe model from science fiction movie, I don't know yet, don't miss. And see you later! Maybe somebody of my viewers served on Centurion and can tell us about it in the...